Hey everybody, it's 420 Shorty. Welcome to the show. I just wanted to show you some of my clones I've done today. I've done a few, a couple different ways. And I've got some that I've done the traditional way. And spray these every day. And they're in cubes and in the tray. And they're already rooting. And they've already got some really good roots on them. these, I've done a different way because I only had a couple of each plant so I wanted to make sure I kept them separate and kept them labeled and so these I put in bags and I put them in rock wool like this and they stay in here and I spray them Then before I close them up, I blow air into them so the CO2 can help help them grow and help give them all of the oxygen and air. They can make the oxygen that they need to. So now I've got a few different kinds. And this one I have three in. And they stay pretty wet in there. They don't dry out. They stay really healthy with all the CO2. And they, they flourish as much as these do. So you just get to blow in them twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night. And then I just rotate them. And I have them in this tray because I do keep them on a seedling mat. And that keeps them a little bit above ambient room temperature. So it helps keep the roots a little bit warm. And that helps them grow. But I have double trays so they won't get too hot. And this really works. It helps keep them separated, and then I don't have to worry if I don't have that many clones to make a whole tray. And I try to keep a little bit of water in the bottom. This one has a little bit more than I usually like, but I try to keep some water in the bottom so that way they have they can always keep moisture in there too. And I try not to let them dry out too much. So yeah, you would give them probably you try to keep them as moist as you keep these. And I usually try to keep a little less water like that instead of like this, but it's all fine. It's not going to do anything to them as long as you don't let it get all, get too hot and yucky. And then they just stay up, they stand up just fine because of the air in the bags. And they clump, they root just as good as all the rest. So that's another way that you can do clones if you don't have very much space. And if you don't have a seedling mat, I think it would be fine. You can just keep it in a warm place and don't keep too bright a light on it. I try to keep it to the side so when the roots do start, they don't have too bright of light on them. I have roots on these that are actually already growing up up into the top. Oops, they're on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, I've got roots that are growing up to the top on this one. Oh, it got bigger. So that's a couple ways that I know how to do clones that work really well for me. And I uh, hope you all keep tuning in. And thanks and have a peaceful day.